or this statue, the subject of which is David. We know the artist, Donatello. Uh, there's a bit of controversy about the date. Some people date this to the 1430s, uh, others as late as 1450. We don't know who the patron was per se, but we do know that the original location of the statue was in the Medici Palace. And of course, the question is, how do we know that this is David? Well, the answer is the large disembodied head that you have here under his left foot and the stone in the figure's hand as well. Now consider that this is a landmark sculpture in the history of art because this is the first freestanding nude statue since antiquity. In other words, it's been about a millennium since we've had a sculpture that is both freestanding, okay, freed from a niche or from an architectural setting, which is the way sculptures were usually created in the Middle Ages, but at the same time, nude. Right? Now, nude with a couple of exceptions, and that, of course, is the boots and the hat that you see on this particular piece, right? And you may remember, of course, that those elements may refer to some kind of erotic theme, okay? In fact, if you come all the way behind the statue, what you find is that there is a feather climbing up David's inner right thigh and stopping in a very sensitive place on his anatomy, right? So there's clearly an erotic thread uh, running through this piece, okay? A lot of anachronisms in the piece, okay? Like, for instance, how could David have decapitated the head of Goliath uh, uh, when, in fact, the stone is still sitting in his left hand, right? Or the androgyny of the piece, or the sword that you see here in David's right hand, a sword that was then used later, after he'd already slain the giant with the stone, to decapitate him, right? Well, what Donatello is, in all probability, doing with the sculpture is creating a kind of continuous narrative where all these anachronisms are essentially part of the David story. So that the androgyny might symbolize the youth of David, right? Young boys look and sound a lot like young girls. Uh, the boots and the hat, which think of eroticism, may in fact refer to the armor, which Saul had offered David, King Saul, but that David had ultimately rejected, right? In fact, these are greaves or military boots, and that was a hat typical uh, in the Greek world. Uh, the stone to when David went out and chose those five stones as his artillery. Uh, the helmet, the helmeted Goliath figure that you see, uh, referring to when Goliath was still alive uh, and vegetative and all in one piece and terrific in his size and his strength and his power. And then the sword that you see here, uh, referring to that moment where David uh, eventually decapitates the giant. Okay, in other words, Donatello okay, in the St. George statue giving us a narrative in two parts, right? George was up top about to fight the dragon, then George down below slaying the dragon, and instead here Donatello evolving into this next step where essentially we have an entire narrative given to us in a single freestanding sculpture.